Hey everybody, Sean Sewell here. I'm going to show you three of my very favorite core exercises that you can do at home requiring no equipment whatsoever. So I'm going to go into a little bit of background of what the core is, how to properly utilize it, and then coach some regressions and progressions for these three movements. First off, the core is not just your stomach right here. In my opinion, a lot of people's opinions I appreciate and respect, the core starts here and it goes to the knees, and a lot of people, myself included, even to the feet. So think about this kinetic chain, this body connected, when you're doing not only core exercises, but any exercises for that matter. So, with that in mind, the next coaching tip I have for you is finding some kind of tool, a broom, this is an FMS stick, anything this long, give or take, to see if your alignment is correct. What I'm looking for here is three points of contact. My head, my upper shoulders, and my rear right there. So it's surprisingly effective to get this alignment done uh, correctly because most of us are going to have something out of place, kyphosis or lordosis, or it won't touch. So get in that broom and try this on yourself and your loved ones. Really is a good biofeedback tool and it's free. Plus, doing core work, dogs love it. So Riley's going to help me. Demonstrate the very first one, which is a plank. Yeah, planks. So a plank, I, I teach it elbows under your shoulders. Um, in yoga, you probably do it in your hands, and that's great too. But to do the hard style plank, which I'm going to show you, it's most effective on your elbows because you're going to use your radiation again, getting the whole body to work together. Pull my elbows towards my feet. And then I'll give you a regression to do on your knees, too, that you can't do on your feet. All right. So, elbows below shoulders. Alignment should be good. I'm going to go up for 10 seconds and rest for five. And do notice the shaking. Right here, contract. Everything's firing. 10 seconds on. Rest for five. And I hope you saw shaking. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of breath because I'm really dialing it in. And that's the key to doing anything we're doing, is do it right, do it correctly, do it safely, and you will see great progress. So, for the plank, it's 10 seconds on, five seconds off, four sets. Seems simple, <laughs> but do it the way that I just showed you, and you will know why they call it the hard style plank. Up next is a hollow hold. So previously we are in the prone position, now we're going supine on your back. And everything remains the same as far as cueing. We want to contract the core. All is one unit. And I'm going to get a tool to demonstrate how effective it can be. I'm sure at home you've got a tie, elastic band. This is a stretching strap. You probably see a lot of gyms. What you're going to do is you're going to place this biofeedback tool under your lower back. What we're going to find out is if your core is engaged or not. So you can't cheat. It's very nice to have a spouse or a kid or somebody around to pull this to demonstrate your competency. So, again, I'm going to give you some regressions and progressions. Band under the back right here. So right now, I have a curvature in my back naturally. This band's going to slide out real easy. My goal is to get the back flat so it doesn't come out. Make sense? So this is engaged. That's not. So <laughs> I would recommend, again, for the plank, get the broomstick for this, get a tie, and just get some feedback to know if you're doing it correctly. First level, knees are bent as much as they need to be. Hands are off the ground, shoulder and neck off the ground, <clears throat> and that's engaged, okay? Again, just like the plank, four sets of 10 seconds of work, five seconds to rest. So 10 on, five off, 10 on, five off. If that was not challenging enough, legs go long. Go right there. If you need more resistance, right there. Yeah. Dial it in. See me shaking. Because <laughs> again, giving maximal, maximal effort. So, as a bonus, Nobody's favorite, the Davies. This is a lot of fun because it's basically a push-up position plank. 
and I'm going to take my right hand to my left shoulder, and my left hand to my right shoulder, without allowing my hips to sag back and forth. And um, again, another household tool you might want to go grab is a water bottle. Fill it about two thirds of the way up and put it on your partner's or your own lower back. And that will act as a level. If it sloshes back and forth, that means you gotta dial it in more so your core is activated more. So it looks like this. Again, push up position. Only difference is my hands are a little bit more narrow and my feet are a little bit wider. Right to left left to right, give you a little side profile. Set up the first rep, right to left, left to right. Again, we're just gonna do 10 of these. No hip rotating, everything is firing. Very, very effective. So your homework, because <laughs> you're at home probably, is either do three sets of the plank so that would mean a total of 12 bursts of 10 seconds, or three sets of the hollow hold, or three sets of 10 of the Davies. If you're really pent up, do all three. Well, that'll that'll uh, really be effective, but not necessary. Again, just pick one, do one each day. You know, after we do the movement drill, which you probably saw previously, hit me up with any questions, Shauna, Carl, Personal Fitness, or Engagement, whatever you want. Easy to get a hold of, hopefully you find it helpful, and take care.